You know, you may have noticed someone around town or at a professional sporting event, might have noticed that they have a colorful tape on their body, sometimes referred to as kinesiology tape, or KT tape, or rock tape, and you're wondering, what does that actually do? Does it have medication in it? Is there something to how it's applied? Or heck, is it just placebo? Just makes them look cool? And today, I'm gonna break all of that down for you. Dr. Brant Pedersen. I'm a sports chiropractor and I work a lot with athletes, many of them professional and Olympic athletes. And there's tips that they know and tricks that they know to keep themselves performing better and feeling better, recovering faster and reducing the pain levels that they get as well. Uh, and I'm going to share with you how you can use kinesiology tape to help that. I'm going to answer a few questions that I routinely get. Is the tape magic? How does it work? What's it good for? How do I apply it to get the maximum benefit? And then lastly, how do I take it off? No, the tape is not magic, although you might feel the effects feel like magic. To take something that's pretty inexpensive, readily available and easily packs in your bag, and to be able to throw it on up snowboarding or out surfing, running, playing soccer, tennis, be able to put something on quickly easily and have it decrease your pain and improve your function, it can seem like magic. I teach my patients that there are three things, three ways that it helps. The first uh, is by helping with inflammation. How does it help with inflammation? You see, our skin, uh, we can see the outside of it, but we're actually built kind of like lasagna. Lasagna's got those noodle layers, and in between the noodle layers is red sauce, right? some meat too. That red sauce, we're built exactly the same way. So we have our epidermis and our dermis, uh, subcutaneous layers and fat, fascia, layers that go down to our muscle. And in between those layers is fluids, like lymph and blood, right? Um, kinesiology tape by attaching to the skin, as we move back and forth, it helps to pull those layers of lasagna, those noodle layers apart. And by doing that, allow for better fluid exchange that helps to reduce inflammation in an area. The second way that it helps is by reducing pain. And I'm gonna drop down into a little bit of neurology here, but, <clears throat> and it's cool. Uh, I'm a nerd. So uh, neurologically, your, the receptors uh, for touch in your skin, those receptors fire back to your spinal cord inhibitorily, meaning they dampen or, or silence, help to silence, the signals coming in from your C fibers. Your C fibers are your pain fibers. So you know this from when you would, uh, let's say hit your hand as a kid and your mom would come over and she'd rub it. Maybe your dad would come over and rub it like this. And they were doing that not because they knew neurology, but they knew that their parents had done that for them and that that reduces the pain, right? The exact opposite happens. If you wanted to feel more pain, you hit your hand and then you keep it completely still and just stare at it. That'd be, that would heighten your pain awareness. So by putting the tape on there, as you're moving back and forth, you're stretching those cutaneous receptors, firing them, they fire back inhibitorily to your spinal cord at those C, the C fibers, the pain fibers, and therefore dampen, decrease the pain perception, All right? Does it take it away completely? Not usually. Does it take it away significantly so that you can notice it? Most of the time, that's pretty cool. Number three, is it allows us to cue the body into a better biomechanical position. So if I was to, if you were someone that, you know, rounded your shoulders like this, and I was to come up and say, tapping here, bring your shoulder back, you could do that, right? I didn't push your shoulder back, I just cued you and I gave you a reminder, hey, bring your shoulders back. The tape can act the same way. If we put the tape on to help you move into a proper position, uh, then that can help you biomechanically to reduce pain in your body. Pretty awesome. Lastly, I get asked, is there something in the tape that is actually giving us properties? Is there a medicine in there or something? No, there isn't. That's all just based on the principles of how the tape moves and how it affects your skin and how it's applied. Uh, what the tape does have is a specific weave. If I tear the back of the tape here, you'll notice that it stretches a little bit and then it reaches an end stretch where it doesn't actually stretch anymore. 
that's important. When you look at like white athletic tape that we think of when uh, back in the day when we tape someone's ankle, that white athletic tape has absolutely no stretch characteristic to it at all. And some other tapes, um, maybe even wraps like Ace Wrap and things, they kind of almost have an unlimited amount of stretch. But Kinesio tape, it comes to a certain spot and then it stops. So it's that ability for it to stretch, but then have an end point to its stretch that gives it its, um, its principles and how it works physiologically with your body. Well, if it is a joint or a muscle or a ligament uh, or a tendon and you have pain in that area, kinesiology tape most of the time is something that you can use. There are contraindications to using kinesiology tape, so you can certainly look on the package and see what those are, um, but they're pretty rare. Uh, and most of us, athletes getting out and playing, doing things that we love, um, should be able to use kinesio tape without any problems. So it's frequently used for Achilles, for ankles, uh, for our knees, we see it used a lot. There's a lot of different things you can treat for iliotibial band syndrome, for shoulder problems, for neck, low back pain, tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, wrist, you name it. The kinesiology tape can be applied and hey, here's the cool thing. You can buy it pretty cheap. You can apply it easily. And if it doesn't work for you, take it off. That's fine. It was an easy experiment. The type of tape that I use in the office most often is called KT tape. They're one of the manufacturers and they make one that I find. It stays on for a long time. It's easy to apply and it's good quality. So what you would do is you would open up, I'm going to show you uh, how to properly tape if you had a tennis elbow. Okay. So in this pouch, there's three pieces of it and you can get it in longer lengths and rolls instead of pre-cut. I love pre-cut. If you get a roll, just make sure that you round the corners. That helps it so that the edges don't get caught and kind of come off. When you do go to apply it, you want to clean the skin first. Um, what we use usually in the office is like an alcohol prep pad, but that gets the oils and the um, soap residue, things like that off your skin so it'll stick longer. And if you do do that, usually the tape will last two or three, sometimes four days um, between applications. The tape is waterproof, so you can get in the shower or the bath, not a problem. Um, just when you get out, I tell patients to pat dry instead of rubbing the towel back and forth because it's the pulling up of an edge that gets it caught. When you go to apply it, um, most of the time, and there's different ways to apply the tape based on different things, but this is the most common way and will get you by uh, most of the time, is you're going to tear a little bit of the tail on one end off, and I like to pull that back. Then I'm going to take, and this is the most important thing, you're going to stretch the skin, not the tape. Most people, when they get it wrong, they've taken and, and pulled the tape, like they take that stretch characteristic we talked about, and they take it out of the tape. So if I have tennis elbow, what I'm gonna do is bend my wrist here, putting a stretch on these tissues, it's called the extensor wad muscles, and I'm gonna take and apply the tape just a little bit above that spot on my elbow where it would be hurting when you have tennis elbow out here. I'm gonna pull the end off, never putting any stretch into the end of the tape. And now you see I haven't touched the tape, I'm able, to, I'm able to pull off the tape like this. Again, there's a little stretch that's coming into it. So I'm gonna stretch my arm, stretch the tissue. I'm gonna apply this without putting any stretch on it right over that area. And then I'm gonna bring it down. And then I'll put a little bit here, again, without putting stretch. When you put the tape on, then you're gonna wanna take and rub it. That helps to activate the adhesive that's in it heat activated. On the ends, instead of rubbing back this way, I rub this way so that it doesn't pull back the ends. And then if you've done it properly, what you're going to see is those little puckering. That little puckering is those channels that are forming to allow um, the, like we talked about with the lasagna and the red sauce, that's allowing um, the fluid exchange. It should be comfortable. It shouldn't feel like it binds anything. Um, I got a little bit of a, a wrinkle there. It's not perfect, uh, but it'll still work just fine. Okay, that's how you would apply kinesio tape. Uh, at first, you know, if you're someone that has a lot of hair on a body part, um, you might want to trim that hair or shave it down a little bit. What I find, I don't have tons of hair, but uh, what I find is that when I first put it on, I'll move around a little bit, and it'll feel like it's pulling on the hair a bit, and then um, it usually calms down, and I don't feel that if it's over an area that has hair. 
So the same way that I applied the tape to my elbow for a tennis elbow application could be done in here for a golfer's elbow application, or it could be done for a patellofemoral pain syndrome around the knee, or it could be done um, for patellar tendonitis or biceps tendonitis or shoulder problems. Online, and we'll put a link down below, uh, you can find tons of guides for how and when to apply tape. Usually, when you go to take tape off, you're just gonna grab the end, slowly pull it like that, not a big deal. But if you are feeling like it's pulling on stuff too much, what you can do is put olive oil, most people will have that in their kitchen, or baby oil, and you just rub that into the tape. You'd leave it there for three to five minutes, and then that will kind of deactivate the adhesive, and it'll pull right off. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up down below, subscribe, comment. We get back to people on the comments and it helps give us ideas of things to do in the future. Have a great day and I hope you get out and do something that you love today.